My name is Ryan Warnick, and this is Alma Gates' uh, vehicle. It is the last vehicle she built as a sound quality vehicle back in 2005. Alma Gates was huge to the car audio community. She helped get exposure in places we've never seen before. She also helped revolutionize the way we have uh, competitions and the way we judge competitions by some of the things that she did in her vehicles to get some of the loudest SPLs in the world. Uh, she also was big in getting us uh, a lot of exposure throughout uh, outside organizations, other things other than just the community, and uh, made basically our community a lot bigger than it is. She was also considered a mother figure to a lot of the base head. She basically was friends to anybody. She loved everybody. She talked to you. She'd spend time with you and just was all around a great woman. But we actually acquired this uh, last year after she passed away, unfortunately, and uh, we were able to get in contact with her son and the estate of her after she passed and set up a way to purchase it so that we were able to bring it out to shows and show it off and restore it and make sure it doesn't just sit and go to waste and people can appreciate what she did and what, you know, kind of let her legacy live on in the base community. I guess I will show you guys around some of the features of the Bronco here uh, and let you guys see parts of it. She does have custom one-off uh, rims that have been made with Team Gates emblems, everything with the triers and everything. They are 40-inch uh, tires on 20-inch rims. And then they have uh, the outside speakers for external play. And then we have the head unit and also a lot of the switches and controls for the, uh, the stereo all together here on this display out here so we can control it all from outside the vehicle. And then if you go inside, there are uh, two Crown 6000 amps in the floor along with a couple capacitors and then it has a few sets of uh, JBL components in the dash as well as some JBL 8s in the floorboard there in the kick and then another head unit in the center console to help us for SQ judging. As you come around the back we have uh, all the amps that run all the highs throughout here. We have two of the six JBL 15 inch subs that were in there and there's also two uh, 10 inch ports up top. And then we also have two more eights and two more uh, sets of super tweeters for the back. And they're here and there's the fuse blocks laid out there, as well as the excess power batteries and bus bars by Project DB, as well as excess power uh, wire running to the bus bar going across the front. They actually run to a copper bar that runs the full length of the vehicle from front to back. In the back, the batteries actually run to that bus, uh, copper bus bar that runs all the way to the front and then connects to a plate that is hooked up to 15 alternators that are ran off the uh, actual crankshaft of the uh, engine and it actually has a uh, 302 Mustang engine. Uh, it's been kind of built up a little bit. I guess basically, you know, it was a great showpiece you know she basically built the best you know she didn't take cut any corners they didn't half-ass it it was built to be the best in the world at the time you know it was built to be top of the line the best there was and also showcase what they could do as builders it's it's a great honor it really is it's something special to know that we get to work on something that you know she was a big you know she owned she played you know she used and just it's awesome uh, just a great honor to let her legacy live on to know that we're helping keep it going and not you know let her be forgotten in the community I love car audio. I love being a part of it and I love the community and the people we have here that we represent and the people who help us out. I love the atmosphere. I love just the way going to shows and sitting around with the people and listening to the stereos and also the work, seeing the work that people put into it. I mean, they, knowing the knowledge that I know about what goes into a car audio, it's, there's a lot there. I mean, I appreciate what there is done to all of them, from the small to the big.